So Naughty Dog is saying that they don't see it like they're jumping on a bandwagon. It's almost like they're 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 going to be almost like the first people to actually uh, delve into the realistic aspect of this theme, the post-apocalyptic thing, because almost every game that has has been about post-apocalyptic uh, stuff or uh, or about zombies and that kind of thing, it's mostly about surviving by killing the threat. Um, so, like, by killing as many zombies as you can. And the environment is usually made so that it fits the, that scary feeling. So it looks scary, everything's really dark. Pretty much the only purpose for it is to scare you. Um, you know, have zombies jump at you and you're like, ah! You know, it's that scare tactics type of game, um, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. There's just that type of style, right? So Naughty Dog is taking advantage of this theme and they're saying what happens to the people what happens to them in this in this situation how do they form relationships how do they how do they work with each other how do they work against each other not it's not to scare that's why they're not making it about the infected because they don't want to, to make it about scaring you they want to make it about um, about feeling like you guys have to see the, the 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 thing that really really makes me really happy is that they're focusing the 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 major um they keep on saying this naughty dog when they say so is this a po post-apocalyptic zombie game and they say no it's a it's a game about joel and ellie they are focusing so much on character development they want to show um, how these two characters grow together, how they, how, how they, they respond to each other, um, how their, their relationship changes or, or gets stronger uh, or gets tense in this situation. That's like heaven for me when it comes to video games. I, I have, that's why I have to play this game because that's what I've always wanted in the game to, for, some, for, for, for the developers to focus more on creating this this realistic relationship between characters and focusing more on y telling the story and on those characters and that kind of thing and not so much on uh, like killing these damn enemies or something like that. So they want to delve into the reality of a post-apocalyptic world. They want to make you feel like, oh my god, this could actually happen. They want to make it tangible. It's not only about surviving by killing the enemies, but also uh, by surviving by looking for resources, by sticking together, by um, finding safe places to hide and to, to sleep, and how how those tensions just manifest uh, in the characters. They're also adding a different feeling to the environment. Now, when I saw the, the trailer for this game, um, I, I immediately thought of I Am Legend, the movie with uh, uh, with Will Smith, it looks a lot like that. And uh, with video games, post-apocalyptic environments usually look like wastelands, kind of like Fallout 3, um, Rage, like that kind of look. Last of Us is taking it in, a, in more of a I Am Legend feel, where yeah, you do see ruins of these uh, of these familiar places. Where you're just like, oh, that's that one place. But it looks so different, so ruined. Um, but there's nature covering it. Like nature has taken over it. So there's all this greenery everywhere. And I and I've always thought that this is more of a realistic post-apocalyptic world, um, because just because humans aren't there doesn't mean that everything is gonna die. So it's 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 almost like like a reality check where it's like, yeah, there's no humans, but life still goes on. It's kind of like you guys aren't the center of the galaxy you know without you guys the plants are still gonna live and they're probably gonna thrive even more <laughs> because you know there's gonna be less pollution or at least pollution isn't gonna be getting worse and worse and worse so they're going for this very uh, intriguing yet disturbing feel so it's like wow everything is ruined there's all these broken cars everywhere and then you see this beautiful green luscious like forest almost it's like 
it's really it's kind of like uh what's that called a uh, concrete jungle it looks like a concrete jungle so now let me talk a little bit about the relationship between uh joel and ellie an interesting thing was where naughty dog got the inspiration for the last of us and they actually got it from uh a few sources they got the overall idea from uncharted uncharted 2 i believe in uncharted 2 there's a scene where you team up nathan drake teams up with this uh this guy named tenzin in the himalayas and this guy doesn't speak english so they can't really communicate with each other but they go through so many hard things they, they help each other survive uh, so they grow this really close um, trust, loyalty kind of thing, just in a very small period of time, because this is just in a level. So Naughty Dog really loved that. They were like, what if we took that idea and we made it into a game? They also got inspiration from movies like Road to Perdition, the, the recent remake of True Grit, and um, No Country for Old Men. I'm a huge fan of John Wayne. So uh, I saw the original True Grit, and I I loved that movie so much. I saw the remake, which was pretty good. It's not this. It's not as good as the old one, in my opinion, but it was still pretty cool. Um, and uh, I thought Jeff Bridges did a, uh, an amazing job at playing Mr. Rooster Cockburn. But I could totally see where they're getting the whole True Grit feeling. It's you know in True Grit you've got this 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 guy that. He's pretty much only known violence in his life and he's pretty much like done inside like he's got nothing going for him anymore he's like dead inside he's pretty much given up and you pair him up with this girl that is still has some innocence in her she's gone through a lot of pain and she she's kind of getting corrupted um, so by being paired with this guy it's like uh, not only is she becoming a little more corrupted, it's like she's learning how to be independent as well. She's learning how to be strong. Uh, and the, the male is, is learning how to be gentle, to learning how to be, uh, learning what it's like to be innocent again. The, the game actually starts 20 years after, 20 years after this whole infection. So it's been 20 years in this type of environment where people have been dying. So it's not like it just happened, it's been 20 years. So Joel has been living through this, trying to survive for 20 years. So he's, he's pretty much been corrupted. There's no, there's no more clean slate here. You know, he's known pretty much just violence and, in order to survive. And Ellie, grew, pretty much, she's 14 years old, so she was born in this environment she didn't know anything of the world the, the 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 world where people were fine she didn't know anything about that world so this is her life so i i just love that whole idea it's such it's such a brilliant uh setting for this story i think it's just going to be so cool to play through that um and see how these this relationship forms because both of them are so different but it's like one of them has what the other one lost or or in the other and the other the other way around is one of them has what the other one has never had it, they just m mesh well with each other in a very untraditional way so ellie is 14 and uh joel is in his late 40s and naughty dog really wanted to do this because it makes it changes um the whole idea of these types of games it really makes people do a double take where they're just like what you know what is especially in the gameplay a lot of people were saying how um the violence it, now, if 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 you didn't have ellie there it was like okay i gotta kill these dudes but then you put this girl there you're killing in in these crazy ways right in front of this girl and it makes it kind of disturbing where you're just like why does she have to be seeing this stuff um, and there's a part in the gameplay that really, that really shows you that, where Joel throws this, uh, bottle of, like, you know, those, the, what's it, what you call, what do you call them? Those exploding ones where you, where you put something in there and you light it on fire and it blows up. It, he throws that at a guy and he burns, the guy burns, and Ellie's like, what the hell? 
hell? You know, she's like, what the hell, Joel, or something like that. And Joel's like, keep it together. <laughs> or something, you know, it's like saying, you gotta, you, you can't, you know. Like, she's like, oh my god, that was messed up. And, like, it really, like, it could traumatize her, traumatize a girl to see that. And he's just like, you can't lose it. You know, you gotta, you're, you're it's kind of like you're a kid, but you gotta learn how to, how to, see this as your daily life something that not a lot of games has have delved into because it's a very fine line to put kids into those types of situations um but i mean you could totally tell with the gameplay and in the trailers that ellie isn't completely innocent just the way that she talks and i mean it's it's understanding because of the world that she pretty much grew up in so it's kind of like she just needed an extra push towards this reality um it's kind of like she's still a girl she's still a kid but it's like a coming and coming of age story for her in a very in a very distorted way so ellie and joel are just um a part of the the larger cast of the in the game there are other characters that will come out that you you encounter multiple times not just you know not just hi and then you forget who they are no they'll come back so kind of like a cast of characters and they're not just good guys there's also bad guys returning bad guys that are actually considered to be like main characters which is very interesting so that right now they've only showed uh joel and ellie which are the main main characters but there are other characters that are going to be um you know supporting characters that are going to be appearing um continuously i love the way that the naughty dog makes their games and I know a lot of PlayStation 3 uh, video games are made like this with uh, actual, um, what do they call that? Capturing performances where they, they put like these, the suit on somebody and they just like, they actually act the scenes out and they, they put that into the computer and the characters, they're actually moving the characters so they're actually acting out the scenes. Um, they're doing that with uh, Last of Us, and uh, they're also taking the voice, the voiceovers. So the actual actors that are doing the voice for the characters are the ones that are acting these, are, are being captured as a, as um, their performances. Now their facial, their facial, uh, their looks aren't that of the actor, but their their movements and their voice is the actor um, and they're taking the actual voice over directly from the performance and putting it into they're not like putting them in a booth and like recording their voices they're taking the voice over from the, the the from the performance the capturing performance so that the the the, the actions of the character seem more real 